Let's get around him. Come this way. <coughs> All right, take a look right in front of us. Can you see this beautiful structure here? It's known as the super trees, yeah? And they're trying to uh, kind of like a copy the natural tall rainforest jungle that you can find in rainforest uh, tropical countries, yeah? So naturally they can grow between 20 to 75 meters high, but over here, you're going to see them between 20 to 50 meters high. Yeah? So altogether there are 18 of them, but I'm just going to talk about these three. And whatever characteristic I'll talk about you about these three is the same with the rest of the 18. Alright? Okay, okay, Sini, Sini. They come, come. They use concrete core right in the middle, yeah, as the main structure. And around it, can you see those uh, burgundy color or purple color? Yeah, that is part of the tubular steel which used to support the plant pots. Yeah, and together with that uh, steel structure, they also install the automated water sprinkler system, which means they don't need anyone to climb up there. Yeah, the only time that you need to see anyone climb up there, they will use the cherry picker up and down. Yeah, cherry picker, and uh, take a look right on top. Does it remind you of the canopies of the trees? Yeah? And can you see the white part? It looks almost like a funnel. Alright? So, that is not just aesthetic. It has a function. During the rain, they will collect rainwater funnel. And water will start gushing down. And right below us, they have a network of underground pipes that will lead all the drains, that will lead it to two water bodies. Right behind this building, they have the Dragonfly Lake and right behind somewhere at the back there, they have the Kingfisher Lake. Yeah? It's an eco lake, even though artificial, but they make it look as natural as possible. Yeah? So this is part of the ecosystem. And <clears throat> right on top, out of the 18 uh, structures, 11 are fixed with the photovoltaic panel. That means during a hot day, they are happy to produce electricity. Yeah? And of course, take a look at all this lighting. It's not from the national grid. It comes from solar power. Yeah? So these are some of the sustainable uh, effort made by the, uh, the designer of Gardens by the Bay. Yeah? Okay, now I need a green city. So what happened when they do the maintenance? Yeah? Like uh, cutting all those dead plants or dead twigs and stuff like that. They will not be thrown away. They will be collected, sorted based on their, their quality and later shredded. <coughs> and this become what is known as the horticultural waste. Yeah? They will use it as a fuel to burn or to turn the steam turbine. Yeah? And again, they will produce electricity. Yeah? So this system helped to cool that by 25%. All right. So these are some of the sustainability uh, effort made to make sure that this park can last a long, long time. Yeah, not just for my generation, but for the generation to come, because it cost the Singapore government more than one billion dollars to build all this. All right. Okay, we have ten minutes. Let's walk to the show this way. Hello. I need that. No, I don't remember anything. 